Coming up on the sports quarter, Carter Bowes looks back on his four-year career as a Maple Leaf. William Troy talks of men's basketball coach John Trope on the final stretch of the season of Crossroads League. And DeMarcus Stuckey looks back on leading his team to a historic win over number one ranked Indiana Wesleyan University. Those stories and more coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to another edition of the Globe Sports Corner. The Goshen College men's basketball team has four very talented seniors, but only one Carter Bowes has been here for Goshen all four years. Here's more with Tanner Camp on the story. Carter Bowes is nearing the end of his basketball career at Goshen College. He is the only player on the team to be part of the Maple Leafs for all four years. While he has had to go through many injuries, he is still going to miss the game once the season is over. It's been a lot of fun playing here, and you know, I'm really three, sad two, that it's coming to an end. But on the other hand, like for those who have watched this year, they noticed you know, I've been dealing with a lot of injuries, so um, I feel like my body's ready to be done. But you know, basketball has been a huge part of my life, so I'm not ready to let go of it yet. But you know, I'm still looking forward to the time I have left and to finish the year off strong. Bose was part of the men's team in 2015 that made the Crossroads League tournament. The team defeated Grace at home in the first round, advancing to the semifinals for the first time since 1999. While this was his favorite on-court memory, he talks about specific friends that he has made that will last a lifetime. You know, off the court, um, since I came here as a freshman, my three best friends were Devin Heath Granger, Connor Funkhauser, and Christian Greider. So, um, I made bonds with them that will probably be lifelong and. You know, we just had a lot of fun together off the court. Bose gives this piece of advice to the rest of his team and future players that come to Goshen College. You know, enjoy it. Um, it feels like just yesterday I was moving in as a freshman. Um, you know, never really been on my own before, so I was really nervous. But, you know, now I'm in my fourth year and I'm so ready to get out of the house all the time. Um, and obviously basketball is coming to an end for me um, and then also you know stick through it it's um it's not always going to be easy uh, people don't realize that uh, the work that you have to do to be a student athlete you know like it's a lot of extra work you got to put in to be good and you know sometimes you'll be losing and you feel like you should be getting more minutes or you know you may not agree exactly to what the coaches are doing but if you stick through it I promise your time will come you know, when you become upperclassmen. Bose will graduate in April with a degree in business, along with memories and friends that will last a lifetime. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is Tanner Camp. The team has four more games left in the regular season as they make a push for the Crossroads League Tournament. When we come back, William Troy will be with John Trope to talk about the rest of the season coming off a historic win. All that coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Sports Corner. I'm William Troyer, and I'm joined by head coach John Tro for the Goshen College men's basketball team. Thanks, you, coach, for coming down today. Yeah, thanks, Will, for having me. So with five or four games left, what are your thoughts on the season moving forward? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, we're just we're we're back against the wall, you know, mindset. Um, we have to win out to get into the conference tournament. So, you know, our mindset is, uh, you know, we're gonna play however we feel is the best way as a staff um, to, to win those four games. Yeah, you guys just upset number one Indiana Westland last Saturday. Uh, how did that win feel for your team? 
I mean, it was obviously huge um, to, to beat the number one team this late in the season. Um, it's, it's a big deal. Um, it's a big deal for our guys. Just, you know, from their, you know, probably from their psyche uh, standpoint, but really kind of rewards the hard work that they've done. You know, it's, it has, it's been a frustrating season. I'm sure they would all feel that way. Um, but, you know, I've actually been pleased with a lot of things that we've done. It, the results just haven't shown. Um, and they've worked really hard to, to get there. And it's, uh, it, it, was a, it was a great feeling. I mean, it was a great basketball game on Saturday. Um, you know, high pressure throughout the time. And, you know, to beat them for the first time in however many, I heard 10 years or something like that, or nine years, and to do it at home in front of a really good crowd, you know, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah, so four games left, still a chance to make the conference tournament. What's the mindset moving forward for your team? So, yeah, I mean, we're going to focus on, uh, you know, continuing to play the way you sort of saw us play against Indiana Wesleyan. I remember I told uh, Begley before the game that uh, Indiana Wesleyan, they weren't very good in late shot clock situations. And so we, you know, put our offensive and defensive game plan around forcing them to take shots late in the shot clock when they were on offense and then us make them work on the defensive end and take shots in the last 10, 15 seconds. So, um, you know, with... With the teams we have coming up, you know, each team is different in our league and we'll put together a game plan that uh, I think best utilizes our talents and, you know, hopefully exploits their deficiencies. Um, you know, we'll probably play some different lineups, you know, against a team like Huntington, um, you know, against, uh, you know, St. Francis. You know, we'll probably do a, a lot of stuff, you know, involving Stucky and ball screens. And, um, you know, you'll probably see against... Uh, you know, I guess Taylor will probably mix things up a little bit. Um, you know, that was a team that I think we match up pretty well against. But really, all four of these games are winnable games. Um, the toughest one is, I think, the toughest one is tomorrow, and that's because we're coming off of a high. And uh, inconsistent teams can sometimes can sometimes run into, oh my gosh, we just got off of a high, and then kind of have a setback. Um, but we've been a streaky team all year, and. Um, We've been on a five-game winning streak before, and that's what we need to get into the tournament. So hopefully this win makes us hungry and propels us to win these last four. Yeah, so once again, thank you, Coach, for coming down to the studio. When we come back, I will talk with DeMarcus Stuckey to reflect on his career performance against the number one team in the country. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference, all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. the Sports Corner. I'm now joined by DeMarcus Stuckey, senior point guard for the Goshen College men's basketball team. Stuckey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you scored 36 points, including a game winner on Saturday against the number one ranked team, Indiana Westland. Went through your head. What went through your head when you hit that shot? Um, well, we had the number one team on the ropes down at the, you know, down two. So coach in the huddle asked us, did we want to go for the tie or go for the win? And I had it going all night. I said, Coach, um, I think we should just go for the home run, and it worked out in our favor. So only four games left in the regular season. What's your message to this team to make a push for the conference tournament? Just every game counts from here. We got four left. We got to make them all count. We went out. We could get the eighth spot. If not, then, I mean, season was full of ups and downs, but it was fun while it lasted. Thank you so much, Stucky. Good luck with the rest of your season. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit.
That wraps up this episode of the Sports Corner. Be sure to tune in next week where we'll look at Haley Archibald and Sidney Stein and their career as a Maple Leaf and more highlights of your Goshen College Maple Leafs. We'll see you next time right here on the Glow Sports Corner.